Or his tattoos. <laughs> Midfielder Delhi has had a meteoric rise from MK Dons to being one of the Premier League's most exciting young players. But last season he received criticism for his inconsistent performances. Social media gives everyone a platform to voice their opinion. And then it's like, oh, I hate you, leave my club. Uh, and then next week he's like, oh, I love you so much. Obviously it's like if I'm scoring or if I'm not. So it's like, <laughs> if you listen to what people say, when they, if they're saying good things all the time, you can get carried away with yourself. And if they're saying bad things, you can obviously lose confidence. I think you can't get caught up in what they're saying. Some players, the big stars, and they get to 22 or something, and they just never get any better. In fact, they effectively go backwards. We are going to resolve the mistake with effort. So you have to do that, okay? Dele, only in the goal kick. But if he goes there, you cannot be attracted by him. If not, you are attracted by him and he plays direct in there. But you cannot let him go alone. So the moment Eric goes to this area here. Jose is keen to find a way of getting Delhi back to playing his best football. Okay, so what I want to tell you basically is this. Um, I think you feel that I like you. Yeah. You feel. I like you as a player and I like you also as a kid. I think you are a nice kid. I don't want to be your father because you have your father. I don't want to be your uncle or your uh, old brother. I just want to be your coach, but with a good connection. So I, I have to tell you always what I think. In, inside of you, maybe you tell me to fuck off, but I have to tell you exactly what I think. And for me, since the beginning, I had no doubts about uh, your potential. I saw you do incredible matches and incredible things. But I always felt that you had ups and downs. There is a huge difference between a player that keeps consistency and the player that has moments. And that is what makes a difference between a top, top player and the player with the top potential. It's something that you don't have to share with me. I think it's just for you to analyze yourself and to realize why my career is being, okay, may MK don't stop the national team, bang, and then you reach the top and then why you have in your career these little ups and downs, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it has to be to your lifestyle, if in one period you are an amazing professional, if in another period you become a party boy going, I don't know, I have no idea. Only you can know that. I am 56 now and yesterday, yesterday I was 20. You know what I mean? Yeah. And today I'm 56. Time flies. Time flies. And I think one day, I think you will regret if you don't reach what you can reach. I'm not expecting you to be the man of the match every game. I'm not expecting you to score goals every game. I want just to tell you that I think you will regret you should demand more from you. Not me demanding more from you. Not me, nobody, you. I think you should demand more from you. Thank you, mate. Thank you. See you later. Cheers. I'm not like blind to it. I know I, I didn't play that well last season and as soon as I have a bad game, or if I'm not playing well, or if I'm not training well, I'm the first one that knows that. I'm the first one to criticise myself, and you know I always think of what I can do to improve. And sometimes things just switch. 